Greenstone fans, John Campy here, senior editor of AMC Movie News, and I'm very pl privileged right now to be joined by, first of all, the director of the new Texas Chainsaw 3D, Mr. John Lessenhop. John, how you doing? I'm great. Thank you for having me. And thank you for being here. And also joining us is one of the stars of the film, Mr. Bill Mosley. Bill, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Very nice to be here. Thanks. Um, let's start with the basics of it. You know, Texas Chainsaw is one of the most iconic titles, not just in American horror, but in American cinema, really. And whenever I talk to uh, filmmakers and, and story makers who, who take on existing properties and, and want to tell a new version of it, they want to pay homage to it, but they also have something new they want to bring to it. What new did you want to bring to Texas Chainsaw that maybe we haven't seen before? Well, for me, was to, was the challenge was to make it fresh, to, mm -hmm. uh, to bring it into 2013, um, where it didn't feel like an old horror movie for us and to connect the two stories. Ours is a true sequel, so we're starting with the moments that ended in the original and then we're bringing it forward to today. Um, and I think that that's a lot of fun and that we've used modern technology. We've used, uh, oh, the, ki the kids are hipper, newer. <laughs> it's not uh, tired. Uh, and I think that that was one of the neat things and one of the challenges about making the picture. Uh, Bill, let me ask you this. As someone who's got to be a part of the filmmaking process on this one, we mentioned that Texas Chainsaw is such an iconic name in American cinema. You mentioned names like Freddy, Jason, Michael. You have to put in that list Leatherface. What is it about Leatherface and this character and, and the whole nuance of who he is? What makes him so appealing and so memorable for film going audiences? Well, when I first saw uh, the original Chainsaw back in, I guess it was 1976, um, I think the thing that struck me about um, Leatherface was, of course, that he's mute. Mm. Uh, that he is uh, got a uh, tremendously strong and a big guy, and that uh, he wears uh, human faces as his kind of uh, different masks of personality and moods, and that he has a big ass chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like uh, which I got to point. You you probably can't see at the camera angle we have, but you have the most amazing belt buckle. You got a chainsaw belt yes, buckle on, which is you know, just from awesome. A, from a fan, actually, it was sent me by a fan a long time ago uh, when I was in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre two as uh, Chop Top, and um, you know, so I've it's it's been a real privilege to be a part of to have been a part of the Chainsaw family for low these many years. Uh, what's really exciting to me is uh, working with John and working on, you know, a you know a new old version of of Texas Chainsaw. I mean, what's what's great about it is that um, you know it starts really where the original Chainsaw leaves off. Right, right. And um, you know the, uh, the it's it's seamless and it's um, you know it's exciting in this in this um, uh, particular movie. I'm playing the cook. And um, when I was in the, uh, uh, the sequel to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I played a character called Chop Top. Right. And the cook was, uh, you know, a family member uh, and was also a great personal friend, a guy, a great actor named Jim Sedow. And uh, to be, you know, to be back in Chainsaw Heaven and also to be playing the part of uh, Jim in this, um, you know, it's a great honor and, you know, it's, it's great to be a part of the legacy. Uh, John, I wanted to ask you about this. I'm such a fan of Takers. I, I love <laughs> nice. the, the, the complexity of characters and stuff like that. Takers, Texas Chainsaw, a little bit of a leap. What was it about Texas Chainsaw that appealed to you so much that made you want to be tell the story and be a part of a project like this? Well, I had never done horror. And so for me, it was a, a chance to do that. And I, uh, I've loved horror movies, so this was a great chance to branch out and try something. Um, I wanted to, just like I think Takers has a little gloss and has the humanity to it within a crime mm. drama, here was how do you give some humanity back to Leatherface so it's not just a, you know, a killing machine of some type. And uh, to me, uh, and also do it, uh, made it fun. And then to work in this genre made it fun where you can put your own imprimatur on it. Um, I would say that when you had your intro about how big the Texas franchise is, it was it's all true and to go make a Texas Chainsaw you are stepping into some really big shoes mm. with a lot of pressure to deliver but and again bring something new to the table which is what we've tried to do but uh, they're two different films Takers is urban <laughs> this is yeah. rural uh, 
that is a little bit of hip hop to it. This has more country twang. Um, that uh, they're different, but you know, from a filmmaker standpoint, they're both fun things to try to get your hands into. You don't always eat meat; right. you can eat vegetables, <laughs> and so uh, that's where I look at it. So you know, it's we're, we're here at the AMC Burbank 16. You guys are about to to go in and introduce actually the film to the audience here. So let me ask both of you this, John. Let's start with you, and then we'll go to Bill. Why are AMC audiences going to love this incarnation of Texas Chainsaw? Well, first off, AMC audiences are the best anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. I, I, I think they're going to like the freshness of it, and yet it also fulfills uh, the nostalgia of the original. Mm. I mean, I was greatly influenced by Toby's work uh, in the right. very original film, Toby Hooper. Um, and when I saw it, I found all the things that I really liked about the movie, and in this script, I kind of sprinkled them in but brought them back in new ways mm. and uh, wanted to do something that was still contemporary but you know you've got your dead armadillo you got your van <laughs> you got your freezer and but they're chicken in the cage chicken in the cage yeah, chicken in the cage <laughs> um, <laughs> that you know they're there but they're in new ways um, rather than they're more than homage they're put there than a fun new way to, to look at it and out of order in a lot of neat ways but uh, I think they're going to enjoy the film because it is fresh, but it, and it does ha have the continuity of the original Texas Chainsaw. Mm. Bill Wyrons is going to love this film. Well, um, you know, the, uh, the horror fans in general are a very um, loyal and uh, enthusiastic bunch. Um, and, uh, and I know that, uh, you know, having been in a lot of horror movies and also a, a horror movie fan myself that um, this movie really is going to uh, kick some, can we say ass? Oh yeah. You can say butt, oh, yeah. ass, hiney, whatever it is. It really, it really is. I, you know, I love the idea. I love the, the 3D. Um, I love the, uh, you know, the re, the reimagining of the leather face mask. Um, also when we were shooting, we, uh, we shot actually in uh, Louisiana and, um, you know, John can certainly tell you that uh, when when I was down there, I think it was maybe it was a it was a cooling trend. It was only 106 degrees <laughs> on average, with about a 94 percent humidity. So um, you know, this is not only a, a labor of love, but um, <laughs> we really we sweated we sweated to bring you know the horror fans a, a great entertainment. Well, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm really proud too that we brought back Gunnar Hansen, right? Uh, Marilyn Burns, right? Um, and that uh, and, and Bill from the family of Texas Chainsaw and that they were inspiration too while we made the picture and that's one of the things I think that those that are big fans of the picture are going to uh, deliver and see people that brought it to them originally but in maybe a different place um, while we fulfill sort of a contemporary look. Well, listen guys congratulations on the film I know audiences are excited about seeing it I can't wait to see it myself we're going to go watch in right now and watch this matter of fact Arr, let's Once go again, yeah that's thanks. right and remember folks Texas Chainsaw 3D hopping over to amctheaters.com to buy your tickets for it right now once again John Bill thanks so much for joining and us and look you what your brother did to the door <laughs> <laughs> Jim Cedow hey guys if you like this video make sure to stop what you're doing and subscribe to our AMC Theaters YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the movie news editorials and our AMC movie talk show also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about all our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.